Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use the speed test command line tool to get a accurate reading of your internet speed. So sometimes if you do it with your web browser you might get some mixed results, especially if you're trying different browsers. I've heard that you know some people have a certain result in one browser, certain results in another browser, and of course it could be things like extensions or other things like that messing with it. And of course you could try, you know, incognito mode to try and get better results. Uh, but if you want to try something even better, you could try this speed test command line tool. So if we go to the speed test website and just run their speed check here using a web browser, let's see what we get. So far it's not looking good. This should be at least 300 and it's only showing up at 45 or so. The upload speed looks about right. Alright, so not very good results there. So to use their command line tool, you can get it from their website as well. So I'll put a link in the description for this. So if you come here, you have some install options. There's even uh, Mac OS and Linux. And if you scroll down here, there is a Windows version here. So it's just an executable. So you download the zip file and there'll be a speed test exe. So you could open a command prompt and navigate to it and run it that way. Or you could just double click it and it should work that way as well. It'll actually open a command prompt for you. All right, so you can see our download speed is much better so far. So the only problem with doing it this way is that it closes when it's done running. So let's open an actual command prompt and try it again. So you just have to know where you saved the file at. So I know it's on my E drive here under speed test. And we just run speed test again here. So you can see quite a difference on the download speed so far and the upload's about the same. Back at loss zero percent. All right, so you could use this command line tool to compare the speed you get when running a tool in your browser. So if it's much better when using this tool, then you probably need to look at your web browser to see if there's something going on there. And of course, you could try a different browser as well to see if you get the same results. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download the speed test command line tool, and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.